In this video, I'll be looking at the PXW FX9's dual ISO function. I would also suggest that you look at the initial setup video, as this video has further information on the use of gain and ISO in the FX9. The dual ISO function gives the camera the ability to operate at two different sensitivity levels, high or low. This is different from adding gain and has only a very minimal impact on image quality. The camera's full dynamic range and full colour response is preserved whether you use the high or low base sensitivity mode. There is only a very small increase in noise when you use the high sensitivity mode, much less than if you were to use gain to achieve a similar image brightness. Where possible, you should normally use the low sensitivity mode unless you are shooting in very low light levels. In low light, you would use the high sensitivity mode. Normally, the two sensitivity levels are denoted as high and low, as when shooting conventionally, you may choose to use either dB gain or ISO to indicate the camera's equivalent sensitivity level. In the Cine EI mode, the two base sensor sensitivities are 800 ISO and 4000 ISO. Dual ISO is very different to the conventional addition of gain used in most cameras to change the brightness of the recorded video or to increase the camera's ISO rating. In conventional cameras, when you add gain to increase the brightness of the recordings, not only does this make the images brighter, but it also increases the noise levels. For example, adding 6 dB of gain or doubling the ISO via gain will make the recordings twice as bright but it will also make them twice as noisy. Adding gain may also in many circumstances result in decreased dynamic range. So while adding gain may be beneficial for making the pictures brighter, it can also make the images too noisy to be useful. Because the dual ISO function works by altering the way the individual pixels on the sensor operate, making them more or less sensitive without changing the camera's gain setting, when you use the high base ISO function, the camera's images do not become significantly noisier, nor is there any change to the dynamic range or color response. The image quality is almost exactly the same whether you choose low base or high base mode. The only difference is a very small increase of noise in high base compared to low base. This gives you the flexibility to choose the most appropriate base sensitivity for the scenes that you're shooting, including using a mix of both high and low base within the same project. Where you have good light levels, you should choose low base, as this has the very lowest noise levels, and low base allows you to use wider apertures for a shallower depth of field, or minimize the amount of ND that you'll need when shooting on a sunny day. Where your light levels are lower, you should choose high base, so you don't need to add any more camera gain than absolutely necessary. You can also use high base if you want to shoot with a very deep depth of field, as using high base may allow you to close the iris down to a small aperture to increase the depth of field. High base is also useful for when shooting with fast shutter speeds or at high frame rates. I suggest adding the base ISO high low function to an assignable button so that you can quickly switch between high and low base as needed. You should also note that if operating the camera conventionally with the camera set to ISO rather than dB gain, it can be a little confusing as to how much gain you may be adding, as it's possible to achieve many of the same ISO ratings in both high base and low base. Different gamma curves will have different ISO ratings as well, so there are many possible combinations of ISO value and it's easy to get confused. So do consider setting the camera to display the gain in dB rather than ISO, as you may find it easier to understand how much gain you're actually using. This table shows the lowest and highest possible ISO ratings for some of the camera's different gamma curves at both high and low base ISO but also note that there's some crossover between the low base ISO range and the high base ISO range. For example, when using S-Cinetone, low base runs from 320 ISO to 2500 ISO, and high base goes from 1600 ISO to 12800. There is some crossover where you can get 1600 ISO to 2500 ISO in either high or low base. 
So when should you switch from low base to high base ISO? I suggest that whenever you add more than 8 dB of gain in the low base ISO mode, you should switch over to high base for a picture with less noise. I strongly advise that you should never add more than 14 dB of gain in the low base ISO mode, as this much gain adds a lot of extra noise. You're better off selecting high base ISO, as this produces an image of the same brightness, but without such a significant noise increase. In the Cine EI mode, the camera will only ever record at the base ISO. With the FX9 in Cine EI, you have a choice now of two base ISO recording levels, and these are 800 ISO and 4000 ISO. Being able to choose between two different base ISOs gives the FX9 a lot more flexibility when shooting log than cameras that only have a single base ISO. When shooting in most normal light levels, you should use 800 ISO, and when you don't have enough light, you should use 4000 ISO. For more information on using the Cine EI mode, please see the dedicated FX9 Cine EI video.